Daniel and in this video I will show you how we can leverage on Microfocus RPA to automate the process of adding sales orders in Salesforce. In order to achieve that, the first step will be to read an email from our email service which contains an attachment with all the orders to be processed. We'll use out-of-the-box content based on API to achieve that. On the second step, we'll parse the attached file in order to get all the needed information for the new orders to be added. The third step will be an UI task which will interact with Salesforce application for the actual order creation. And of course, at the end, I want to make sure that I'm notified with all the orders numbers that were created. This is how my email looks like. I have more than 50 orders that needs to be processed before the end of the closing. For that, I will automate the process using Microfocus RPA solution. In Workflow Designer, I will create a new workflow and add all the needed steps inside. The first step that I will use, it will be from our out-of-the-box Office 365 integration. So I will get email message attachment. After that, I will read the sales order file in order to parse it. The third step, as I mentioned, it will be a UI task. That means that I will need to record a new RP activity. Let's give it a name. And the recorder will start. I just need to push the record button and I will be able to record all my steps. A new browser window will be open, so all my actions will be recorded. The first thing that I need to do is to provide my credentials in order to log in. All the steps, as you can see in the recorder bar, will be recorded. Now I click on orders and create a new one. I will fill all the required text fields, like the account name, the contract number, the order start date and I will even give a description for this. I will save it and at the end I will grab the order number. To do that I need to stop the recording and I will see all the steps that were recorded. On the last one, I will add the standard output value, which will contain the order number. Going back to the designer, I will be able to see all the recorded steps. More than that, I can even parameterize my activity, so every time when I run it, I can run it with other values. For example, I can add a user, a password, which we can mark it as sensitive, the account name, the contract number, the start date, and the description. So next time when we run it, all this information can be provided. Okay. So let's use the recorded RP activity in a workflow. I have this small subflow which will also get uh, the needed values and I will be able to map all my parameters. At the end I will link my results and I will save the subflow. Next, I will use this subflow in my master flow. So the third step will be the actual 
creation of the Salesforce order. The last step will be send mail message. This will notify us with all the sales order number that were created. Just before saving, we can set our step as loop, so we make sure that we'll do the same thing for all the orders in our file. One more thing that we need to do in order to give access to a broader audience to our workflow is to expose it as a scenario in the brand new RPA self-service interface. To do that, we will go to the management view, add a new scenario and select our workflow. We can give it a more friendly name so everybody can see it and can trigger. And we will assign it to a category. We can choose which inputs and outputs to expose and after that we submit this. Everybody who has access to this self-service will be able now to trigger our scenario. But just before we do that, let's go back to our Salesforce application and do some UI changes. We will change the theme of our app to a dark theme. We will also change the position of our orders button and we will see that the robot will still be able to identify the objects and run the scenario because the recording was done in a resilient way. Ok, so let's submit our scenario and see what happens. Firstly, a new activity is created and the robot will replay our recorded activity. And at the end, I will be able to see the email that I just received with the order numbers for the orders that were created. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video.